Hello, Hammerheads. Thanks for tuning in. Now, I just tried to log on to Fuckbook, Facebook. <laughs> Banned yet again. 30 days this time. Guess why I was banned? For the same reason I always get banned from Facebook. Exposing paedophiles. Child abuse. And I'm not the only one. It's happening to other people. Because last time I was banned... I came back after me ban, which is just about every month with me now, and I posted why I was banned. Unindated with comments from other users being banned for the same reason. Exposing paedophiles. I even opened up a second Facebook account, you know, for when I get banned off me regular one, I can use that one, but fuck a turd and his chums have found a loophole. Found a way around that, so I'm banned from both accounts now and guess why I was banned I shared a video these memes and videos have been circling circulating social media for months now you know that that fucking bloke bleached blonde hair early fucking twenties or something cross eyed trying to groom children I shared this Video, it was already there. I just shared it. Get banned for hate speech? Violating the community guidelines? Causing... Th that it could cause harm to people? What about the harm to the fucking children he's trying to groom? Them videos don't get banned. Of this same person trying to groom kids. I don't know what this sick, disgusting world's coming to. This is the far left, this. They're pushing this agenda. They're trying to normalise it. It's, it's not just sexual abuse. It's stealth child abuse creeping in through the back door as well. You know, in schools. In the family unit. I mean, they've got um, clinics set up in Australia... So if a couple has a baby boy and they didn't want a boy, the one of the girl, they can take this little boy to the clinic and get it butchered to turn it into a little girl. It's wrong on so many levels. That's child abuse. Big style. And if they don't do that, they'll dress this little boy up in girl's clothes. How's that kid going to grow up? It's going to go through its head. Is it any wonder in the LBGT... X, Y, Z, whatever you want to call them, community, suicides and depression is sky high because of this indoctrination, this brainwashing. You've got drag queens coming into nursery school teaching babies about gay sex. It's fucking wrong. Let these kids grow up. Let them be children for crying out loud. I don't have kids, but it's still fucking worrying all the same. I mean, if you're thinking of starting a family now, don't. Because your children will not be protected. Social media. They defend paedophiles. Authorities defend paedophiles. The government Defend paedophiles. The police defend paedophiles. Let's be honest. It's rife throughout the police force, isn't it? <sighs> this is where we're at now. In this sick, twisted fucking world. The left are trying to push this agenda. They're trying to normalise it. It's already legal in certain countries, which I won't mention. I mean, you can post anything on Facebook, you know, criticise the government. You can, you know, about terrorism, ISIS, illegal migrants entering Europe, domestic abuse, animal cruelty. That's fine. You criticise paedophiles, 
and you're banned for hate speech. You could even get arrested for it. <laughs> I've seen it happen. Joe Public setting up sting operations to ensnare child groomers. The police have arrested them. Not the paedophile. You know, the job the police should be doing. These people and having to do the police's job for them, they get arrested. For exposing paedophiles. <laughs> you know, we're still under lockdown, yeah? Because it's fucking virus. Teachers. College tutors and professors are worried sick. They are worried sick because these kids and these students, they're learning to think for themselves now. They're not being indoctrinated, brainwashed like they are in schools and colleges. Wasn't like that when I was at school. Yeah, they taught you a load of fucking shit, but they didn't brainwash you into thinking something that's completely wrong is normal, like this, what's going on now. You want to seriously start thinking of homeschooling, you know? Oh, but they don't like that. Doing it in America and places like that, they don't like it. Because you're going to be teaching your kids, you're not going to be brainwashing them. I mean, in in parts of America now, you know, it's it's not just xenophobe and Islamophobe. They've added paedophobe now. They've added that. That's it's hate speech. Hate speech. And it's it's fucking it's sick. It's worrying. It's only gonna get worse. A few years down the line from now. It won't be a crime anymore, paedophilia. It's almost not a crime now. I mean, for example, a place I used to work, right? It's about 18 months, two years ago. I was there 12 years, but somebody was, you know, somebody worked there. He had videos and category A photographs. He'd been getting away with this shit for years. Abusing children. No prison, nothing. They couldn't even sack him. It was against the law to sack him. For this vile behaviour. He wouldn't leave. Bold as brass he was. So they offered him ten grand. Refused. Twenty grand. Refused. Thirty grand. Because nobody wanted to work with him. I think in the end... They offered him 40 grand and he fucked off. No identity, no house, the lot. 40 grand for being a paedophile. You know, a few years ago, if you got caught with child pornography on your hard drive, you could almost certainly expect a custodial sentence. Not anymore. I've seen case after case after case. They've just walked with a fine. And if they're unlucky enough, they might end up on fucking the sex offenders register for a year or two. Then they just carry on with their lives as normal. This is where we're at. The future is looking bleak. Very bleak indeed. And I'm worried. People should be worried. Normal people should be worried. <laughs>